15. Solihull Moors 1, Barnet 1. Some may say that's a great point for Barnet, especially in the last couple of weeks, but that second half performance especially must have been really frustrating not seeing your side score. What's your assessment of that game? You look at things negative all the time, you don't you? Um, great performance. Just like the last three performances, created loads of chances. Like I say, the time we stop creating chances is when we have to worry. The time the players stop going to the line is when we have to worry. And then we showed good character today. The tactics, tactically, the players took on board how to hold a very good side, very well coached side. Laurie had to make some saves in the first half, um, but it could have been for all at half time. I told you we'd come here and we'd have a go and we'd open up the game and we'd, have, we'd do what we were good at. But second half, obviously, with the opportunities we had, yes, we're a tad frustrated not to get all three points. We've got to respect the point. Two really good sides today. Um, yeah, playing really good football, great game to watch. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with the point because I respect it. Um, our supporters got behind us. And the main thing for us is we keep putting in performances. Performances are being results. For sure. Let's talk a little bit about the uh, starting eleven. Mike Phillips coming into that. What was your theory and what was your thought behind that? Just a little bit more legs, defensive legs. Maycock can run on from midfield. They've got great combinations down there, right hand side with Barn on the right hand side and Clark. They're probably the best combination in the division. Um, and they can hurt you with Osborne supporting a deep line midfielder. So, look, it, they're a good side. I think we're watching them scoring numerous goals and um, and they'll go far. They'll go far. They, they were in a title race last year. I think they'll be in it again. Um, they've got strength and depth. Today they've got Dallas up front and I thought Kelly, who's a, who's a really good player, excellent player. His runs on the shoulder, trying to get in behind Moose. It was a tactic of theirs, and we had to sort of sort that out at half time. Um, so yeah, look, they're a good side, and uh, we're a decent side too. So you know, just a little bit frustrated with the injuries we picked up today. Obviously, Pauli yesterday, um, we've picked an injury up to um, to Idris today. You know, so look, he was meant to go on international duty uh, this week with Sierra Leone. That doesn't look like it's going to happen, so he's, he's rolled his ankle. And, uh, but I'm just the big thing for me is the performance. Once the performances are still there and the players keep pressing the ball out of possession, keep expressing themselves in possession, uh, positive results will come. Absolutely. Ryan de Havilland got us off to probably the best possible start you could have asked for. What do you make of his goal and his overall game today? Yeah, he looked back to himself, Ryan. Obviously a little bit rusty due the day after being out for three weeks. The same with Danny Collins. They're two big players for us. Two young players, 24 and 21. Two young players. But Big players for us, and uh, I thought Danny defended excellently. And Ryan's timing of his runs is excellent. His quality, his bravery. We've got a special player there. We really do. Obviously, it was a it was a touchy first half. Some really good chances for us, and they got back into it through a penalty. What did you make of the decision? Some may argue it was on the edge of the box. We think it was outside. You know, I don't think the referee was 100% clear. There's no way he'd be 100% clear from the angle he looked at it. It'd be interesting to see it back, um, but we feel it was outside the box, and that's the way it goes sometimes. You come up to Birmingham, you're not going to get things your way with officials. Um, but we managed to get a penalty ourselves. I'm not sure why he wasn't sent off the goalkeeper. I don't want to advocate for that. Ard's a good football friend of mine as well, and I don't want, I don't want to see him get sent off. But in the heat of the moment, you start asking why. You know, our lad's going to go around them, and he's been cleared out. So for me, he's going to tap the ball in, so really, Maybe we should be sent off. Maybe I don't know the laws. I'm sure we can have a look at back at the highlights. First half, it was. I would say it's quite equal. Second half, we were we were all over them in periods of of the game. What do you say to the boys in in the dressing room at half time? Just tactically, uh, they were trying to get Musa in races with Kelly and Dallas with their pace. Um, we wanted to continue to let them play straight balls from their centre halves. We didn't want our midfield on the ball, so we just stopped it there really. And then when we turned over the ball, we wanted to run beyond their midfield and break into their back line. So, you know, we had to be brave. Garmo got on the ball much more. Michael obviously got 60 minutes into his legs, 60 odd minutes as his full start, um, and he did particularly well as well. Um, so yeah, and then obviously Marv got some minutes. But it's just important when you play against teams that you've got to be so focused and switched on. I didn't like how we started. A little negative for me. I didn't like me start the second half. I thought we started a sloppy. They two or three corners instantly. That's not good enough. We've got to do better there. That could cost you in a game like today. So especially against a good side, we had to defend a few corners. We've got to be getting the corners and sticking the opposition on the back foot. But all in all, I thought Idris come on made a big impact running in behind without the ball. He looked a little bit like Efron. That's what we got Efron doing here, running in behind without the ball. That's important. You can't keep coming to feet for the ball all the time. You're going to hold opposition. You've got to penetrate them with good runs. And uh, lots of positive, positive wins was good. Lots of positive performance. Skip at left back was good. So. 
you know, everyone can give themselves a pat on the back today and we probably haven't got the result we deserve. Where do we go from here? Dagenham away uh, next Saturday. How will your team be recovering and then preparing next week? Yeah, obviously the Hive's closed on Monday, so we won't be able to train, but we'll be in Tuesday, Friday. Uh, sorry, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Friday, and prepare, pre uh, prepare for the game like we always do. So, um, like I say, we'll dissect tonight. We'll go through it over the next 48 hours, and then when the lads come back in, we'll, we'll debrief the game on Tuesday. We'll debrief it with them and show them visually what we're about. And, uh, and how we can improve, because you can always improve. Um, and then we'll move on then. Wednesday we've got a game against Brentford behind closed doors at the training ground. Some of the lads need minutes. Um, so, yeah. So And then Tuesday, Friday, we'll prepare for Dagnum. Dean, as always, thanks very much.